Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here with Ryan Clark. Ryan, 5-0, I believe. Yep, smashing it now. Ah, yes, sir. Fifth fight today, it's starting to get there, isn't it? A bit more experience and that. Yeah, I, think it's, I think it showed in there, Ryan, because um, the shot selection was better. You're putting a little bit more pop, a little bit more snap in your shots. That people might look at you in your previous fights and be like, he's not got a little bit of pop. But it seems like you're trying your, your hardest to deliver the shot and get a little bit of venom behind it. Ah, well, that's it. And it's, it's, going to take, it's going to take me longer than it is for some of these guys that are coming for to a top amateur careers or whatever. These are still kind of. Like my build-up fights in it, so every fight I'll be a bit better, I'll be a bit better than the last one, one before that, it. so we'll just keep going. For people that don't know, is that you went to Billy Nelson, an overweight kid, safe to say, um, and uh, I don't, I, don't, I tried to be as polite as I could there, Ryan, um, an overweight kid, uh, just want, just want to lose weight, get get fit, and you you love boxing that much that you decided to take it further and get into the pro game, limited, very limited amateur uh, pedigree, if any. Um, yeah, so just go back to that. Let me, I want people to know because we reiterate the story. How much weight did you lose, and how old were you when you went to Billy Nelson? Well, I was about uh, sixteen and a half, about sixteen, seventeen stone. So I was I was back then, started lost in the weight and enjoyed the the boxing. Had about four amateur fights, and then didn't fight for a while, and then eventually turned pro. So I've now more more pro fights than I have amateur now. Well, there you go, listen. You're, like I said, you you you're enjoying it. You've always always got a smile on your face, and you're in a gym right now where you've got guys like Luke Bibby and Lewis Crocker and Martin Bacoli and Kieran Tarleton, and oh, I probably missed somebody out, and I apologise if I have because it's such a packed gym. But you you're in there with stacked stacked talent. But you train just as hard as these guys that are at that world level or had that amateur pedigree. I well, definitely, and it's just it's great to be in with these guys. You know, I mean, not, not a lot of boys get to, well, no other boy gets to train with these these sorts of guys. So definitely, an okay, okay boy to be in that gym, and picking up wee bits and pieces off them, and it's a great, it's a great place to be. What do you want out of the sport, Ryan? Because I, I know you, I know you probably don't need boxing. You know what I mean? You don't need to be a professional fighter because you're not fighting for anything other than just because you enjoy it. So for you personally, as a professional fighter right now, what do you want to get out of the sport? I just want to see how far I can take it. I'll put, I'll put in, uh, my best efforts into the sport and, and see how far it goes. I'm not, I'm not stupid. I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm going to be this or going to be that. You know what I mean? But who knows how far it can go. So that's it. Like I said to you, but if I was to ask you how far Martin McCauley could go, because you've been with Martin a long time. You've been alongside that man for many a year. He's got his big opportunity in LA. Um, against Jared Anderson, beats Jared Anderson. What's next for the man? Do you think he can beat Jared Anderson? I suppose my next question, my next question should be. Oh, 100 percent. I've seen, I've seen my lot of Martin. I've seen him spar top guys. I've seen him hurt top guys. I've seen, I've been at all his fights, and that. It's just a, he's a great, great fighter. I, I believe he stops him. Interesting. And you've not sparred Martin yet, have you? <laughs> <laughs> not when you were heavy, no? I can't like, step on me by accident. <laughs> uh, Liz, I won't keep you much longer. Ryan, uh, you, again, 5-0. and oh, When you're next out? Oh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I've not got any plans yet. So maybe a couple of months to try and get another fight and then maybe one more by the end of the year. Just see what happens. Ryan, your whole team left about an hour ago and you're the only one that's still here, so I appreciate it. Thanks so much, mate. I'll catch you in the next one, son. Thank you. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.